remember this scene? A cornfield not so long ago, the original site on which this magnificent theatre stands. Looks a bit derelict there, doesn't it? And so it was. The architect called it a lot of other things too, for the soil was bad and there was a lot of water to be got away. This was how it looked on Derby Day. Everybody headed for Epsom. But all that is changed now. No longer need you travel far afield to see your favourite stars. No more discomforts of travelling on wet and wintry nights, fighting for buses and strap hanging in the tubes. And why? Because here on your doorstep is a theatre equal to any in the West End, indeed the world. Every known appliance for your personal comfort has been embodied in it. It should be called the modern, not the modern cinema. You see this drum? That's to hold over five tons of oil, fuel for the furnaces for the heating. Every fourth row of seats conceals pipes, evenly distributing the heat throughout. The air in here is washed and filtered, and its temperature controlled by thermostats, so you won't be too hot or too cold. And then the seating. Plenty of leg room and perfect vision. And the seats, special sorbo rubber. Don't they feel comfortable? There's only one other theatre in this country to have these. That's the Shakespeare Memorial Theatre. Where, like us, they have everything of the best. And so it gradually begins to take shape. There are 300 men at work here, giving employment for seven months. Every man knows his job, and he does it well. Over a million bricks have had to be placed, and hundreds of tons of steel. All British. Gradually it rises up, bit by bit. There's the skeleton of the cafe, where you can go either before or after the show for teas and light refreshments. Ah, they're getting along now. They're beginning to put the windows in. This is about as high as we're going. In other words, the next step will be to put the roof on. Now that's beginning to look more like a cinema, isn't it? And there's almost the real thing, with the facing on. have got the roof on now. That means that the interior decorators will begin to get to work, slapping on the paint and the varnish, and laying down the carpets, and all the 101 other little jobs. It's almost like watching it grow up before your own eyes, isn't it? Here's a view taken from the tube station. So if you want to meet a friend who doesn't know the district, tell them at the cinema exactly opposite the modern tube station. Now this is the entrance to the car park, and a very fine one too. It'll hold over 300 cars, and what is more, it's free. Now, although the job of work had been getting on pretty quickly, this wasn't even fast enough for Mr. Yap. So the order was given, speed things up. In other words, get a move on. Ah, now they're off. My golly, that's the way to do it. We shan't be long now.
shoe makes you feel quite hot, doesn't it? Ah, well, that little rush is over at last. And here we are, all complete and ready to receive you. Don't be afraid to ask them for anything you want. We are always out to help you, and willingly. In other words, service with a smile. And now, let's on with the show. <laughs>